Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the midday. We have a lot going on, of course, today, especially with the coronavirus. We are especially following that very, very closely. They get straight to the numbers now. A live look, by the way, at the stock market. It is down 1,600 points. Wow, what a drop. This is uh, historic, really. This morning, stocks were halted even for 15 minutes after trading opened down more than 1,800 points. Now, this comes as crude oil prices have crashed to historic lows due to demand and coronavirus. Really, demand is about the same, but they flooded the market with more oil. The panic be began after Saudi Arabia shocked the oil markets. They launched a price war against one-time ally Russia, they're continuing to increase production, and so, of course, that just lowers the demand there. U.S. oil prices crashing 27% overnight. At last check, oil prices trading about 30 bucks a barrel. That is extremely low. All right, right here in southeast Texas, here are the numbers we're talking about. 12 diagnosed cases so far, half of those in Fort Bend County, another four in Harris County, two are in the city of Houston. So we're really talking about, you know, six in the city of Houston or in the Houston and Harris County surrounding area. The patients were diagnosed after coming back to the United States from a cruise in Egypt. And more on the coronavirus classes at Rice University canceled for the week. The university says it is out of an abundance of caution over the coronavirus. In-person classes and teaching labs are canceled. Some students will be working remotely. Next week is Rice's spring break, by the way. Faculty and staff are working on possibility of having remote classes for the rest of the semester. They would do those, of course, online. Right now, there is no cure for the coronavirus or the flu, but ABC 13's Brie Berry has a few simple things you can do to supercharge your immune system. That clearly is important for everyone to have during this critical time. Some of the best foods to boost your body's defenses are garlic and ginger. They don't fight the flu or coronavirus, but they can boost the cells in your body that do. Avoid foods with sugar. Sugar can weaken the immune system. And it seems obvious, but get plenty of sleep. Sleep is when your body is performing preventative maintenance. Getting less than seven hours, even by one or two hours, can limit your body's ability to heal. Get sun. Vitamin D has been linked to lower rates of illness. You can take supplemental vitamin D if needed. Immunity is also linked to the gut, so try probiotics, powered greens, and elderberry. Elderberry is an ancient remedy that's back as a hot new trend among immunity supplements. Doctors say elderberry teas, syrups, and lozenges can reduce the severity of symptoms, but they are no replacement for a flu shot. 20 minutes of daily exercise can also prime the immune system. Movement produces more white blood cells, which kill bacteria and viruses. And the number one point here to remember as well, remember to stay calmly informed. Don't panic. This is not a frenzy we should be overly concerned with, but certainly we should be aware and somewhat concerned. Worrying can create stress within the body. That, of course, reduces the power of the immune system as well. It weakens your immunity system. And before you take anything, you can also check with your doctor. That is critically important as well. All right, let's go to Memorial Hermann Hospital as well. Just announced plans for a visitor policy change to prevent potential spread of coronavirus. Beginning tomorrow, now this begins tomorrow, patients can only have two visitors each day. And all visitors will be required to undergo, undergo a screening process. The process includes a temperature check and questionnaire. Sick visitors will not be able to enter the facility. And the Houston Health Department has set up now a call center for Houstonians. If you have any questions about the coronavirus, this call center, no doubt to be flooded with calls. You can call 832-393-4220 right there on the screen. The times as well are on your screen. Weekdays 9 to 7, Saturdays 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. All right, with many retailers actually selling out of sanitizers, a 10-year-old in Austin has created his own business to help keep up with demand. It's called Corona Gel. Miles Barker says it's made with aloe vera, alcohol, and essential oils. It sells for three bucks a bottle on a street corner in his neighborhood. <laughs> Way to go. That's, that's been enterprising. Here's a listen. We started to make it, and we thought, how about we sell it? Because since it's sold out everywhere, how about we sell it and maybe make some money? Well, way to go, Austin. You're thinking. Way to think right. 
All right. Of course, we're going to have much more on this coronavirus all coming up a little bit later on uh, Eyewitness News at 3, 4, and 5, 6 o'clock. Also, midday right here every day. We will be here for you sharing all the latest news. Thanks for joining us. Have a terrific day, everyone. See you later.